What's up, everybody? Drunk Carlo here with Three Swords Productions. We are in the coaching video. Um, like I said, a lot of people wanted this, and so I'm going to give it to them. Uh, this replay was sent in by Element. Um, they are on uh, they are on beers versus Broly. What's really cool here is that we can see both players' hands. Uh, this replay function is just very cool. And uh, first few turns are going to be a little, you know, a little here, a little there, nothing crazy. Uh, this is a relatively good opening for uh, Red. Um, this this matchup can be difficult. So Beerus being a control deck, uh, it can really struggle to the late game that Broly has because of cards like uh, Secret Rare, 8 Drop Broly. Um, there can just be a lot of tough options there. And um, so, um, you know, we're just going to go through. And, you know, what's cool is we can actually fast forward through these early turns. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, comboing with the Shemotions there, uh, of course, you know, uh, I'm talking about both players here. Comboing with the Shemotions there actually uh, doesn't make any sense. I know they probably have Paragus in their deck, but, you know, whatever. Here we have a crit that hit. Some more one drops. And, okay, so right off the bat, okay, so let's rewind here. We charge for turn. And right off the bat, we pop energy marker for frost. That's not really good. Um, you know, we frost is just green. We know is not a pressure deck. They're not going to pressure you. Um, and I mean, looking at obviously. So first of all, I'm aware that, you know, beers can't see his opponent's hand. But in general, like playing frost here and especially popping our energy marker for it is crazy. Uh, we could have very easily played this Vegeta, kept our energy marker, put our opponent at five life, um, and kept our energy marker for a Gohan play. You know what I mean? Um, so, you know, Frost, and, and you might think, oh, well, I don't really want to put my Broly opponent at five life. I think it's fine um, because, you know, eventually, like, you want to get these Vegeta attacks in while they're unawakened. Because you can't, they these cannot reach to the awaken. You have Shin, which lets your leader reach, and you have Gohan, which reaches the Broly after he's awakened. So you really want to get these Vegeta swings in early. Okay, Gohan, Goku's cool. And then here we we charged a 10k Vegeta, and we kept one of these Gokus. That's not necessarily wrong. Um, because we might be trying to self-awaken, but I don't know. Okay, his opponent combo there for no reason. That's probably just a little mistake. I love how when you play Shin, you get the animation every attack. I actually love that. That's one of my favorite things about Beerus on the Sim, is you get you get animation every attack. All right, so here our opponent's going to five. Charging a Turles. All right, playing ramp coop and you see how we popped our energy marker for no reason right like we popped our energy marker for frost and frost hasn't done a single thing we could we could still have our energy marker here and you know what i mean hmm. okay god kamehameha is decent we do want to get rid of this uh goku here but it's a little okay. Yeah. All right. So we have two energy. Le Wait. What? Okay. Never do this to green. You are not a trying to stall green. Uh, you. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. You could play cards, and then your opponent could secret rare you. It does not matter. You are never trying to stall green. Green is a uh, a ramp control deck. You cannot beat. It's late game. So what you should have done is play Vegeta, swing. It, it, whether he takes it or not, he probably won't because he has this little uh, Goku to combo out of it. Then you go swing with Frost, swing with Leader for 30, uh, combo to 35 with this one drop. Uh, that's probably what your best option was. Now you're passing. You have two energy up. And it looks like he's just going to get to droids you for free here. Yeah. 
So again, this frost that we popped our energy marker for did absolutely nothing all game. Okay. Yeah, I feel like it would have been better if we had a Vegeta pre-established pressuring more crits. We have a... Um, you also comboed there when you didn't need to, right? 15k into 20 and you comboed 5, right? Let's hit the rewind. Oh, wow. How far did it rewind it? Oh, it rewinds like a turn cycle. Okay. All right, let's fast forward. My bad. Anyway, so he swung for 15. Oh, it just restarts the turn. Okay, good to know. All right, so so now you went from being ahead to being in a very negative position. Yeah, so he swings for 15. You're now at 20k, and then you combo out. Again, that's just not good. You also, okay, theoretically, if he was a 20k, you have a Roshi... Um, you combo with the Roshi on board because that Roshi's already got its value. The Weesh you comboed with is a card that's it's really good to establish because uh, it could come down, kill this little Goku on board, and then every turn that it lives, you're going to get like an additional card of combo out of it. All right, another Frost. Charger 5 to drop there. I mean... Uh... Yeah. I mean, this this play makes sense. Again, though, what if we had that Whis? This would now be a 15, and it would be a little bit harder to protect. It also would have filled out our curve grader, so. Oh, that's a super over combo, realistically. Yeah, I understand the threat of it, but it it feels unnecessary. Uh, again, if you had played Whis, you just would have had to combo less. Moa sucks. It's not going to do anything important here. All Moa does in the late game is bottom deck Broly. I don't like Moa as a card. Man, yeah, your opponent's hand sucks. If if your opponent had had like another big drop this turn, then this Beerus would just auto lose. So it's kind of lucky that um, that they didn't. Yeah, Gohan, we want to protect our Gohan. Okay, so honestly, another thing we could have done with Whis, right? And and this card is so important, and this is why it was really wrong for you to get rid of this. You also charged your 5-drop Beerus. So yeah, Beerus KOs everything 25k or less. I feel like you want to hold on to this because you go leader ability, neg this to 30. We established Whis last turn, neg this to 25, play Beerus, kill both of these. That's pretty. That right there is pretty strong. And then, I don't know. You got ready. You could charge your Gohan this turn. The the big thing is that you're just giving your opponent time to top deck, and Green plays a lot of bombs. So green can top deck a lot. All right, he let that die. That's interesting. Big bang. 
<laughs> Paragus, I mean, you can play Paragus here. It's not good. You can big bang the, uh, the Gohan. I'd probably do that. I really don't think I'd play this Paragus here. I don't think it, I don't think it's doing anything for you. I didn't big bang the Gohan. Yeah, the Gohan just kills the blocker for free. So I 100% would have big banged that Gohan. All right, cool. Shen's online. We get the animations. Oh, <laughs> the top card of the life was at eight drop. Yeah, that's unfortunate for him. Yeah, he should have just big bang the Gohan, honestly. Yep, Roshi's fine. Draw a card. Oh, okay, cool. 25. He's going to take this. He has. I wouldn't say he has no choice, but he doesn't have much of a choice. And a Gohan. Okay. That was a good top deck. He can, like, rel He can, like, kind of clear a board. You go pop, draw a card with leader, swing 30 into 25. That Paragus was actually a pretty decent top deck. Yeah. But he should combo with the Shemotions. He should combo with it. What is he saving this big bang attack for? You got it right. What is he saving this for? I don't know what he's saving it for. Oh, you pulled it. Oh, this is God rare. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's pretty easy to clean up after this point, right? Yeah, I'll go. Yeah, that all that all made relatively decent sense. Um So yeah, I think I think one thing to remember is is you know, use your cards way more efficiently. If I could go back, I would say throwing that Whis away was a big mistake because it would have ended up staying on board the entire game after you played it, and you would have gotten an insane amount of value from it. Um and then also uh remembering that like the five drop Beerus once you have that Weiss established, your five drop bearers can touch a lot of cards. And that's a big thing to remember. So, you know, if your opponent had maybe top decked a little better, uh, I think, you know, they actually could have been able to pull that off because of, and it was, it was like a relatively close game, but they drew like really bad off the top, which is like, I'm not saying, you know, Oh, just top deck, but it's like, they got a really low roll on that, which is why you were able to survive. You never want to stall green because if, if they had gotten eight drop Broly's, a drops are really hard for bears to remove without using multiple, multiple cards. Um, so, you know, he also charged one, which he shouldn't have done. You know what I'm saying? But he got one off his life charge and then maybe he got one off destructor strength. I don't remember. But the point is, is like, you really don't want to stall green because um, they will overwhelm you with their power cards in the late game. So that was session one. We'll, we're going to probably do three per video. So I'm going to, pause and then hit another replay all right we got jfly uh sent this in shout out to jfly thank you for singing in we have broly versus frieza uh this is pretty traditionally broly favored and we have triple one drop i'm always tempted to keep those one drop hands because you know they provide defense and they help search for your ramp i love this replay feature i can see my opponent's hand too but he's playing banana frieza uh that's a version of frieza I think some of the other versions are a little better, but. All right. Yep. All right. Oh, yeah. You should never do this. What just happened. So now you play your one drop. First of all, this card is insanely valuable. This one drop can rest anything. 
So you never want to throw it away on turn one. You also attack with it, which means Broly can now uh, just swing into the one drop and prevent and not prevent you from self awakening, but it takes away that life that can help you self awaken faster. So you definitely never want to do that. Okay, so it is always correct to do that. Boom. And then I think we just play double one drop here because we're searching for destructive strength. Got a Broly. That's good. Got destructive strength. We're doing good. We have our ramp. We have destructive strength into either Goku or Turles, whatever you find necessary. And then you play the second one. And then uh, you play Broly. So our curve is perfect. We probably end up charging this Android, but this is the critical one. Yeah, Swee. Crick, Swee. This card's okay. Gohan is fine. Crit. I'm just. I'm just taking this. I'm not gonna lie. If he um if he like awakens you, then like obviously like I want all the twenty Ks are relatively useless. But if he just awakens you, then um you're one turn closer. Like you you get an additional ramp, so you're one turn closer to uh, something else. Sixteen is kind of a eh, it's an okay card. I'm not, I'm not mad at not taking crits. I understand why you don't want to take crits, but... And again, your opponent, he just didn't swing there. I I just... Everyone watching, you can't stall green. Just attack. Just swing on it. You cannot stall green. Do not try to go late game with green. It's not going to help. Put them to four. And ideally, control your opponent's awaken for sure. Control them for sure. But what you need to realize here is that like... If you put him to five and he plays a Paragus to awaken, he probably doesn't ramp. He has to have a second destructive strength in order to awaken and ramp, which means if you put him to five, he'll probably just ramp. And then you can just push his shit in with, you have a cooler, right? So just play cooler, swing 15, swing 25, swing 30. And you want to, you know, push. And I've, obviously I see the double strikers. You're like, oh, I want to put Broly from five to three, five to three. I, it doesn't even matter, bro. Just put them from four and then they'll put themselves to three. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. I know because you're thinking, oh, but then they awaken and they go to two. But again, look at this guy's hand. He's got Meteor and Excel Dance. Not Excel Dance. What is brother-sister combo? It's going to be really hard to put him from five to three. Because you can you go play Turles, leave one up for brother-sister combo. It's really hard to get a double strike in at that point. See, so you basically just gave up and so he was able to ramp for free and you gave up a completely free attack there uh, with your Frieza leader into the, the the leader and you would have drawn an additional card as well. Here, you don't attack with Goku. I agree with that. Yellow does not have a, a lot of way. It doesn't really have any good way to remove this Goku. I mean, I'm not mad at trying to pressure the Goku, but when you're when you're down on cards, you usually don't want to combo up, you know. Oh yeah, droids. The droids better attack this cooler. combo 10k no okay i like combo 10k there because in it again so we're we're up on cards we have complete control of the board uh so if we do, if we drop a 10k into this droids then um it's 50 to 30 and it's super combo plus one so he has to get rid of two cards out of his hand and see why you shouldn't stall green are we're playing broly right we have droids we have goku we have Eight energy next turn, nine if we awaken, which means Broly plus Meteor is on the table. So this is why you shouldn't stall green. 
You can't you can't be of course you want to you want to control Green's Awaken. Of course, but you cannot afford to stall them because I'm going to 8 energy with 5 life is crazy. And I just meteor out. I have one energy. I just meteor out, and that's all of it, right? Forty. You could have. He could have even, even if he doesn't have meteor, he could excel dance plus five k. Now the game is super over. Play Broly. Pop five drop. All right, this attack is a little redundant, I think. You pop cooler. I definitely would have popped Frieza. Uh, I don't know. I, I would have popped Frieza. Cooler's not doing too much crazy stuff, so it's hard to say. But like, if he has double super combo, which I know that's a tall ask at this point because one's already gone. But there's a world there where he protects that Frieza. And then it just hurts you know i don't know you get to attack freeze it twice so it gets a lot of cards out of his hand if he protects it oh and he had another one so it's cool he's probably gonna take this right yeah imagine our opponent was already at three imagine they were already at three life and then we swing 35 double into them it's much more devastating play that Goku there I don't think so I think I would have rather played a Turlish there Turlish swings for crit which is good here so we can go 30 crit 40 double mm. <laughs> this freezer deck Plays is not trying to self awaken at all. It's so funny. He charges Zarbon that helps you awaken. I don't know. There's just it's this game is too passive. I actually just think this game should have been over already. Like you shouldn't be going to twelve energy uh, with green most of the time. You should be winning on like nine or ten energy. I just feel like you've had Broly and Droids up for multiple turns. Like the game should be over. I think a lot of people, what I've noticed is a lot of people are like afraid of awakening their opponent when it's just like, of course you never want to, uh, that is, there's a lot of cases where it's wrong to awaken your opponent, but at some point it's like, you have to win the game. You could, you could be swinging with these 25 K's every single turn. You could be swinging at your opponent. Your opponent could have three life right now. And every single turn you swing 25, 25 and your opponent discards two cards. So it's just, I just think this game is a little too passive. Oh, my bad. It's been paused this whole time. I was wondering why nothing happened. Oh, we got Banan. Yeah, brother sister combo is a pretty good card. Again, I've never once uh, gotten that. If you have 15 cards and drop ramp one, I've only ever gotten the. Uh, plus 20 which is really why you play it gigantic meteor is solid you don't need you don't need to charge anymore <laughs> yeah i turlish would have been so much better this double ramp is irrelevant at this point and what you run the risk of doing is ramping all your good cards Yeah, if you if you had played Turles instead, you would have gotten two crit swings. So your opponent would be at four life with two less cards in hand. And that's huge. Also here, you should swing with droids. And when your opponent's at five, you swing with droids. You take them from five to three. Mm. 
He takes that. He has a super combo in hand. I don't know. You shouldn't take that. And then att attack with the 25Ks. What, is your opponent going to remove both of them? Attack with the 25Ks. You swing, swing. Your opponent discards two cards. It's so plus. All right, so he's going to double all in you, right? That's what I'm hoping for. Ginyu, I don't think that does anything here, right? It doesn't attack your leader, unfortunately. All right, shotgun. All in. Go all in. Go all in. He didn't combo. Did he combo one? Death ball. Death ball. Yeah, he should have shotgun here. It is hard to shotgun Broly. You do have two meteor in hand, but... Yeah, he should just shotgun everything. There we go, baby. Do we get out of it? What, do, what even is this math? Okay, so 75, 85, 95, 105, 100. I can't even do math, bro. Do we lose or do we win? We lose, see? We were way too passive. That's why we lost. We were way too passive. We could have we could have cleaned the game out multiple times if we had just attacked more. Um and then we defended instead of letting our opponent put us to four. Uh, so the lesson there is you just need to attack your opponent more. There were multiple turns where you did nothing. You played double Goku, uh, which again, I, I don't think double Goku is ever is. I wouldn't say ever correct. Right. But it's oftentimes not correct because the super ramp at that point is irrelevant. Uh, like you, you ended up passing your turn with four energy up. Um, when you could have played Turles, swung twice, your opponent would have had two less cards in hand. And I'm pretty sure you lost by like 10K. So if your opponent has two less cards in hand, uh, then, you know, that's um, that's less cards than he has in hand to kill you with. Um, so, yeah, even though you're a control deck as green, you cannot be too passive. Um, so there were a lot of points where you just weren't attacking and you should have just been attacking. Um, okay, so that one's over, and we'll do the third one. All right, we're back. We got J Fly again. Shout out J Fly. Thank you for sending in the clips. And we have Broly versus this is started at Goku, right? Uh, no, this is U7 Goku. Okay, so super aggro versus a deck you want to control with, right? I will say U7 is pretty good into Broly because, um, Everything is 25k minimum. So that like additional threshold is not super high. Uh, our hand is pretty good though. Okay. First few turns, R is pretty simple. Uh, we get a Turles. Turles is pretty chill. I wish I could see the options. I think you combo here. He goes 15 here, and you combo this Goten, Gohan, excuse me, uh, because cards. this Gohan is super likely to get removed, so you just block the damage early when you can. Because he could have just as easily play hit here and swing and then kill the Gohan. Uh, so here we just Destructive Strength. Oh, actually, no, we don't have to. So let's see what, let's see what he does, and then we can go over options. Okay. All right, so this isn't necessarily wrong, destructive strengthening here, but in my opinion, what's better is we leave our energy marker and we play Trunks. So Trunks establishes a body that can hit back on our opponent's aggro cards. Again, hit is a great example. If our opponent plays hit, uh, we can then swing on the hit with Trunks, and this applies to anything, whether it's a crit Vegeta, of a, a vanilla 18, whatever they swing with, this Trunks can swing back at it. And then we use our energy marker the following turn for um, Vegeta. The only thing is we have to make sure that we have a target for Vegeta. So we have to combo one of these cards defensively. Um, and then we'll go, uh, we'll use the energy marker on Vegeta. 
and that'll give us five. And now we have three different options for our five drops. We have Gohan, Goku, and Turles. So it's not like destructive strength here is terrible. It's fine. Um, but I think establishing this trunks is very good at relie relieving pressure off of your leader. So in, in against aggro matchups, I always prioritize uh, trunks. Again, I would just combo with this Gohan here. It's more than likely going to get removed for free. Like with this Whis, he should have played. I mean, maybe he drew the Whis off his leader. I should be looking at his hand. So yeah, Gohan got less value there when we. it could have also blocked an attack. Okay. Broly is pretty Broly is decent in this matchup. You definitely charge one of them, yeah. You only ever need one. You don't want to get caught lacking with the 5k. We don't really want to awaken our opponent here. I do agree that you should attack this Krillin. And then we pl um well before we play Vegeta. Yeah, okay, my bad. We played Destructive Strength last turn. Of course we have a combo. Of course we have it. And you don't attack with it, you just drop something to pop the Goten. Why do I keep saying Goten? This is a Krillin, clearly. Okay, this is Omega wrong, right? So if our opponent has a secret rare, they're going to turn four. Um, he should protect the Krillin, in my opinion. Yeah, I probably would have protected the Krillin, realistically. Yeah, I don't know. If he has a secret rare here, uh, you get Omega punished. So that attack is incorrect. You just attack the... Uh, you just use your ability to kill the Krillin. Instead of attacking it. Yeah, and this is this is a good example of not controlling your opponent's awaken. He's giving excuse me. He's giving you your awaken like when you want it. So this is a good example of him not controlling it well because he allowed you to ramp, uh, which now you can more safely play in androids. And if you had a droids here, that would like super clap him. I think we just like, you know, establish Goku. Yeah, this lets us leader ability and attack. Leave up some energy for whatever. And see if we had established Trunks all the way back on turn two. Trunks, again, we can't we can't attack this Botamo because it can't be killed by uh, battle. But Trunks would be able to attack here, you know, it, it's the earlier you establish Trunks, the more value it gets over the course of a game, so. So it's tough. But yeah, that was not good on his part, because he, he if, if you had a droids there, you like super clean him up. He gets, he gets really wrecked by a droids there. I'd probably, I'd probably just combo this Botamo off, in all honesty. It's not going to be able to attack at any point. He did get this, though. This is going to just clear uh, your Goku. That was a pretty good top deck. I, th I think that Awakening card is pretty strong for specific situations like this. Okay, so I mean, I feel like here we just play Broly and start swinging, right? Play Gohan, and you, uh, I, I don't think I like this very much. Yeah, he's not protecting anything too, which is tough because often any any time you protect something, you very often get a two for one trade out of it. So if you um, protect. 17 there then it gets to attack and your opponent also drops a card out of their hand so you know all the you have four super combos in hand so you actually have no pressure you definitely want to use those to protect your battle cards 
I will say that I'm probably dropping Broly there like every time though, to be honest. This also feels somewhat inefficient. So he charged 17. He could have played 17, played Beerus. Beerus swing 25 crit, 17 swing 30 crit. And that utilizes all of your energy. Whereas here you're going to pass with two energy up. And I see that you have a Kamehameha, but that's, I mean, I don't, I don't feel like that's very efficient. 45 here is actually a pretty good attack because this is super combo plus card. Or a meteor. Yeah, I mean, 40, 45 still... Him having to use a meteor here still feels pretty good, but... That, that math is correct. I'd probably meteor to save this, too. I'm probably going for game next turn. My opponent only has four cards in hand. You probably win next turn if you save that. But it's kind of tough. You're not really in a losing position. Although I probably would have dropped Broly last turn and put my opponent to two, so I just win this turn. You also pop with leader there. You didn't you didn't draw a card with your leader. That's cool animation. I actually haven't seen that yet. I haven't played a ton of Broly. Oh, five drop. It's not too bad. Yeah, Goku. To try to stay at two, which is reasonable. POP is a good card on turn one, not super good on turn seven. Yeah, there's just like no real way to win here, unfortunately. Or I guess fortunately, I don't know. Yeah, taking this is fine because it's like there's just no your opponent can't do anything to to kill you here, so this is fine. Super out. And that's the game, right? You just clean it up from here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we, we didn't get the animation that time. Interesting. Nice. Okay. And you just clean it up pretty easy. There's uh, a million ways you can close this game out from here, but... I would say nothing in this game was really all that bad. It was uh, it was more your opponent being somewhat ineffective with his cards. Uh, Broly being a 25k, uh, you're seeing exactly why that is a benefit because it's now a little bit harder for the aggro deck to pressure. But again, U7 kind of circumnavigates that by everything being a 25k. I just feel like your opponent wasn't pressuring you super well from beginning to end. He also gave you your Awaken at the perfect time, which... You kind of want to avoid. Um, but that really wasn't that bad. And we'll do one more. And then we got about 39 minutes. We'll do like an hour. Uh, we'll do one more game and then close it up. All right. And we once again, we have J-Fly. Shout out to J-Fly for sending me all these. Um... Oh, we have Cooler versus Gohan. I mean, this is a pretty classic matchup of. This could go very wrong. And we have Raccoon, uh, which is a good start. We're going second, which... Um, I actually think it's better for Cooler to go first in this matchup. Uh, Ginyu, we have, <laughs> oh, we have Ginyu Raccoon. We charge Butter. That makes perfect sense. Um, yep. Yeah, I mean, Gohan is always scared of, uh, Cooler, to be honest. So far, I agree with everything. Paragus, uh, taking the life, which is kind of iffy.
Yeah, I'm not really mad at any of this. You're just pressuring the Gohan. Him being able to awaken an attack is kind of whatever. And then you, uh, next turn, get to go off. If this Riza survives, your turn is, like, pretty nice. Yep, I agree. Yep, combo knees so far perfect. Right now, Gohan is quaking in his boots. If I was Gohan, I'm probably slamming the Paragus there too. Because now you go swing, rest Paragus. I'm at five. Play, um, play Raccoon. Yeah, I probably would have comboed the Paragus into that too if I was Gohan. Oh yeah, I always forget I can look at his hand. It's, uh, it's not great. Yeah, Raccoon, Ginyu. God, Raccoon, Ginyu is so good. Untap. I would awaken here. Oh, snap. Oh, we got Cooler off the Awaken? Snapped. This is disgusting. I f this is, this is the, the hard life that every Gohan player has to deal with. Oh, gross. I just, I'm, <laughs> yeah, this is just a clinic, bro. This is, this is a worst case scenario. I would, uh, what I would do is if I was cooler, I would use the effect, untap an energy, slam cooler, uh, swing, and KO this Paragus. The only punish that he has is five drop Gohan, which is a good punish, but it, um, it takes up his whole turn. And that five drop Gohan kills cooler and then you super combo out of the attack and then uh you just try to close the game out the following turn so this would have been a really efficient usage of your energy marker to play the cooler here um while also baiting something from your opponent yeah oh man he's already at two droids it's not droids turn yeah just getting another 20k here is like i think less less good than um Less good than establishing cooler. I can't. He's at one already. It's, oh, my God. <laughs> this, this is a travesty. Yeah, Thurlow's not going to help you too much at this point. Uh, you're screwed. Secret rare. That ain't going to help you. Ugh. This is rough. Playing the one drop. Ugh. Yeah, sure. I guess. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Yeah, untapping it. I don't know. Why'd you do that exactly? I don't know. He's BMing. I guess it could be BM, which would be funny. Jace. Jace is live. We can cooler Jace. Oh. All right, well, you're super dead now. This is like, what, 15 at this point? It's actually not that much, but... <sighs> wow. <laughs> Pops in energy. Yeah, he only has one card in his hand he can counter with, too. That's funny. Oh, that was a, that was a, I mean, I, that game was perfect. Other than the BM, um, I, that game was perfect. And uh, I do think it would have been better to establish cooler there. On the Gohan end, uh, you have to address this issue in deck building. Um, you need to see cards like Trunks, Vegeta, two cost Trunks, four cost Vegeta. Uh, you have to kind of address this in deck building. He also took a life with Paragus, which didn't help him at all. And then Par I don't know. Paragus does nothing. I actually just don't like that card very much, but yeah. Uh, for anyone wondering, that's what most cooler versus Gohan looks like. But this was, um, particularly 
particularly bad. Sometimes they're a little closer than that. Um, okay, well, this was coaching. Uh, shout out to everyone, Element and JFly, who sent in the videos. Um, we posted a tutorial about how to send your own replay codes. If you want, you know, just my honest opinion of me being, you know, I've played for a long time. Um, I'm slowly grinding up the ladder. I know my rank's not that impressive yet. I just don't have a lot of time to play. Um, so, you know, but if you know me from Masters, you know, I can give you a lot of good advice. So check out our tutorial, post a replay uh, in our Discord, and we'll do more coaching videos like this. Everyone, thanks for watching. Drop a comment on um, what you want to see in the future. Thank you.